Hi Virgo, sorry I was doing my, what you call meditating, whatever, so um, I don't normally look at the uh, camera. So, uh, oh gosh, sorry. Welcome to this community, my name's Sophia, welcome back, welcome if you're new, I'll do that, that's kind of what you get at the moment. So what I was getting was um, seeing, seeing through the veil of illusion, seeing clearly, seeing truths, that's what I was getting. So it's like the lift, the veil has been lifted. <laughs> so you're seeing something clearly. Uh, obviously connected with your look, wheel of fortune. This is connected with the energy that's going on right now, which to be fair, twin flame light workers, they want me to take that bundle, all of that. So what do they mean by that? Okay, I'll go through it that way. That's interesting. All right, what are they trying to say by that then? Um Okay, so what I'm picking up is, I call it scatterbrain. I have a video called scatterbrain in my, um, in my money program. So it's connected with you being a bit of a, it's not a scatterbrain. Okay, learning to stick with things that you know right because now there's something you go off track because this is you right avoidance and there's an avoidance from inner child work because something happened as a child which you avoid so you're not facing you face it they correct me you face it and then you stop you face it then you stop right there's something that you're avoiding so this is why i call it scatterbrain so that means that you do something yeah, not you do something not focused and this is to do with energy because you need to have an intention and a pinpoint. What's that word? An absolute focus on something for it to manifest. Because something's not manifesting here because this is divinely karma because you're not focusing on it enough. And this is connected with mission and what's going on with the energy. So your scatter brain means your, your avoidance. But then what's happened, I thought the divine has just lifted that uh, the veil of illusion. Like, listen, it's in your face now. You're supposed to be doing this. You're not doing it. Or something shown into your reality that, you know, you're not doing something, you know, to be on your mission. Boom, in your face. That's what I feel has happened with this reading. It's connected with, look. Two of Cups and the Lovers is connected with your person because nothing's happening. Three of Swords. You're in heartbreak. But I keep feeling you keep creating this because you're not rising into your masculine. I, I, I've i put out these two videos about the change on the contract with light workers, right? And what I'm reading with this reading is that what you're not doing, because this is the Aquarius, rise of the Aquarius age, rising into your masculine, is, for example following your bliss of what you're supposed to do, which was divinely chosen for you to do. And what you're doing is following your own heart, what I'm feeling, not what you're supposed to do from someone who's in their masculine telling you what to do, hence me, hello, which is for you to come out of following your own heart's desires and follow someone like me who I'm not even following my own thing. I'm, I'm, I'm getting into my masculines and doing what I'm supposed to do, that's why it's a rise of the Aquarius, is, is coming out of your masculine means coming out of your comfort zone and doing what you think your heart's desire is, because your heart's desires creates heartbreak, because you're supposed to follow what you're divinely supposed to do, right, not what you think, and like I said, there's a scatterbrain here, and you know it's wrong, because you keep avoiding it, so you're like, well, you know, I do crystals, crystal ain't doing that, I'm doing this, ain't doing that, ain't doing that. I'm try I'm trying loads of things, Sophia. It's not for you to try loads of things. Focus on the one thing, right? Then you will get love, which is you and your higher self. Your higher self is telling you what to do. Two of cups and to the lovers. Then you will you're divinely here, wheel of fortune, right? To do what you're supposed to do, two of cups. You and your higher self. Then you will get what, who, hello, your lovers, right? Why is there heartbreak in this reading? Because it's pretty straightforward and you know. Because you're doing what you want. That's what it is. Not what divine told you. So now, karma, right? With the two of cups. Because to karma, now you and your higher self, right? Is not following what you karmic tie of what you chose to do 
to get with your person, which is all divine, which is the feeling frequency. So now there's heartbreak. It's positive and negative. This is connected with that reading, a collective reading. Please watch it because this card will go into this in detail. This is your person is now choosing another option, which you know, right? Because you didn't focus on, mm, they're saying because you, cho you chose too much about money and the physicality of it. That's what they're saying with the Ace of Pentacles. Okay, I'm going to follow what I want to do. I want to sell crystals and stones, nature and uh, and making nature, natural products, massage, acupuncture, physical, and get my own monies, and then I'll get my person, the lovers, right? Because I am selling natural products. That will get me my person. How's that work for you? I promise you this reading is with what's going Most of the readings, the individual readings, are all connected towards the energy I'm saying and connected with the collective, right? And you are feeling, you might even, I just heard, which it isn't heard, you know, compelled to go somewhere else. Oh, my person's over there doing something else. I might go with Scott because Scott is more aligned with me. Confusion here with, like I said, this scatter brain of choosing something else. Because you're not focused on tarot, and tarot connects you with your higher self. So I tell everyone, start with tarot. I don't like tarot, I don't care if you like tarot. Tarot connects you with your higher self. Tarot stops you thinking about your person. Tarot, you get the downloads to teach you to where you're supposed to be. That's why I always say start with a tarot uh, training. Then what happens is people get in their ego, and they go off, oh, I'm going to do my own thing, because I know best, Sophia, because I'm getting the downloads. Yeah, you're getting the downloads. I'm three years in and I'm still listening to the download. Doesn't mean I do what they what I want. I still listen to what the two of cups tells me to do. Regardless of how long it is. You I'm listening to my heart because I don't want to be in mission, Sophia. I don't want to do what you're telling me to do. I'm listening to my heart. Why is your person left? The twin brain contract is easy. If you're not on track, it, and it doesn't mean they come to you when you're on track. You'll just have a knowing that you're supposed to be with them and they, you're going to be with them. Now, you don't know jack shit with your person. No, I'll tell you what you do know. You're losing them in this reading. You have a knowing they're coming towards you or you have a knowing of they're leaving. That's part of the trusting process, right? There was spaces uh, and more so than not, I believed I wasn't going to be with my person, but I just got on with mission. And when I do tarot, most of the time, I don't feel that because it, it clears me so I can get channeled messages to help others. That's what you failed to do. You thought, no, my love is stones. My love is natural, massage, acupuncture, Reiki, whatever. That's my love. No, it's, that's not your love. My love is doing tarot readings. But I'm not here to just do tarot readings. I'm here to make mission, programs, collaborate. But, you know, I don't focus on just my love. It's not just about doing that. And that's what this confusion is. So you fucked up because you thought just getting money by doing something that you love, which you, you know different. Stop kidding yourself and delusion yourself that that's it. Because that's what soulmates do. And if that was it, why your per why where's your person? And why isn't other twin flames with their person from doing what you're perceiving to be doing now? I just love crystals. I'm just going to do crystals, Sophia. Well, yeah. Well, don't you think loads of people uh, buy crystals of Etsy or eBay and, and sell them in a tower region? And why aren't they with their twin flame? If that you know it don't work. Karma. So you're getting karma. Uh, please go and watch my collective reading because I talk about that in detail. About how karma works. You've got to be responsible for what you're doing and make the change. Because you're all 3D. I'm not 3D, Sophia. I'm, I'm galactic and I'm going to know you're 3D. This is your hand holding on to that pentacle. You're in the physical world, right? When you're here to talk about the energetic frequency, can you see electric, right? Lightning, that's you can't explain. That is invisible, but you're holding on to this physical world. So you want to change that? Book me. I've got um, um, on the website now to book a reading. Start buying my programs and invest in yourself, not in me, in yourself, and jump on board the mission program. There's access to mission that's coming uh, hopefully this weekend, so you can jump on that one if the one out there is too hardcore for you. That's it. Speak to you later.